Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be taking a look at CS2 loadouts, but in a slightly different manner because I want to sort of address and break down the best way to budget your CS2 loadout. And I've tried to create four of the most common scenarios we're going to have, and we'll go through those one by one. Now, before we get into it, I've realized now that I've hit a level, which means I can get my service medal, which is cool. There we go. We got the 2024 service medal. That looks pretty cool. But just before we get into it, the reminder of the knife and glove giveaway we're running this month is for a gut knife, a black laminate, and battle scar. It's paired with 0.16 broken fang unhinged gloves. Really nice neutral combo you guys can get. All you have to do to enter this is hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and then leave a comment down below. Good luck to those entering, and let's get into it. If you want the best place to buy and sell your CS2 skins, then look no further than today's sponsor, Skinport. Skinport offers users a fast, smooth, easy, and secure experience for buying and selling Counter-Strike skins with the benefit of items being much cheaper compared to buying on the Steam community market. This is the way. This is the way. There are no buying fees. Selling fees range between 2 to 12%, and there's over 1 million skins available on Skinport at any time. With a great trust pilot rating, it's the perfect place to start building your loadout, whether you're going for budget gems or picking up some insane skins. They are also the reason we can keep running giveaways to give back to you guys. So make sure you check out Skinport using the links in the description or pinned comment. And let's get back to the video. So there's going to be a slightly different format today because this is going to be basically just a talking head. And I'm going to put some gameplay and some examples on the screen as we go through. So I'll try to keep it sort of short and sweet, but as informative as possible. So just straight off the bat, please note that this is not going to fit for everyone. But I think this covers like the average skin enjoyer or at least the majority of people who are getting into buying skins. Now, I'll discuss some of the variances that you may have. For example, if you're an opper, you may want to put more budget into the op. Uh, if you're going for a different theme, or you maybe don't play competitive, you have a different sort of way you want to build the loadout, those can all have various sort of variances. But overall, this should cover majority of bases. So I've, I've broken it down into four categories, and the first is what I'm going to call the essentials. Now, normally when I do my loadouts, what we cover the essentials as are the key seven skins you want to buy, which would be the Glock, the USP, the Desert Eagle, then the AK, both M4, so M4A1S and M4A4, and then the Op. You can include P2000 instead of USP if you use P2000 instead, but what I'm going to do for this is I'm also going to include the MAC-10 and the MP9. So the essentials is those nine weapons, and that means pretty much all your starting pistol rounds are covered. If you're on a low buy, you get a decoy, that's covered. If you're using your, your main rifle rounds, it'll be AKs and M4s, you've got those covered. And then if you're on a low force, you've got a MAC-10 or you've got an MP9. You start covering, I think, what you're going to use like probably 90% of the time weapon-wise. So my example of how you'd want to do this is based on a $100 budget, but you can take that application and apply it to $50, $200, $10, whatever you want. So... I'm going to sort of do some suggestions. So here, if I had a $100 budget and I'm going for those nine key weapon skins, I want to spend like about $90 of that on the more key items, which I'm going to class here as being the AK, the USP, the Glock, the M4A1S, because it's still more commonly used than the A4. That might change with the price update. We have to see. And then also an op where we're going to go for a nice value for money option. So AK wise, I'm going to spend half the budget here and I'm going to get an Empress in minimal wear. I think AK is always going to be de deemed the key skin. So spending good here for a good value for money option makes sense, hence the Empress. Then when I look at the next rifle, which is the M4A1S, I go for a Black Lotus because I think minimal wear for $14 is a really nice sweet spot. Now, these prices are from the 24th of May, so please allow for some variance. Then I spend $15 on a minimal wear traitor uh, for the USP. Again, super existent. You could even go, 50, uh, you go field test and save some money because it is a brightness skin. For the Glock, I decided to go for a nuclear garden. It's $3 in minimal wear, but there's an absolute ton of Glocks that you could go for that are sort of in this budget. And then the op, we go for a minimal wear Aetherius. As you guys know, I love that skin. I think it's one of the best value for monies. Another alternative would be the Jolly. But what this does is, for these key five skins, we've spent $92, and then it leaves $8 to cover the rest. And the rest would then be your Desert Eagle, your M4A4, your MP9, and your MAC-10. Now, just off the top of my head, you could go for a Magnesium A4. You could go even for like a Field Test of Spider Lily. For the Desert Eagle, you could be going for a Light Reel. And then for the MAC-10, you could go for an Ensnared, an Allure, whatever you want in that regard. An MP9 could be like a Goo or probably a Fuji. You could probably get those mixes in. And boom, you've got $100. Now, this is a real nice essential loadout. You've got most of the skins that you want. 
And like I say, this can apply between ten to two hundred dollars, whatever you want. But that's like if you're just going for the essentials, you don't want to dive too much more into it. That's the sort of budget I would suggest. Now the next tier I'm going to sort of break down is the I'm going to the budget enjoyer, and I am going to increase the budget each time, but that is just merely so we have our reference points to work off. Now the budget enjoyer is going to have a two hundred and fifty dollar budget, and what you want to do is those nine key weapon skins I detailed just a moment ago. You're going to go and make sure you get a a good tier sort of skin for all of those and then you put the rest of the budget into every other skin that you might use so just to run through what those key nine are as a reminder so we're going to have an ak-47 because we've got a 250 dollars budget i've decided we go for a blood sport here and minimal wear for about 90 dollars so we're not using half the budget this time but it's not far from it we're using a good like sort of 40 percent chunk of the budget here then we want to make sure we get a good option for both M4s. I still prioritize more budget towards the M4L1S because I think that is still more commonly used, at least in the sort of more competitive aspect, just for economy and everything. So here we go for a minimal more hyper beast, and on and that's fifty dollars. And then we spent ten dollars on the M4A4, which is an in living color, and that's going to be a minimal wear. I'm going to go for another five dollar op. I'm going to go for the Jallet here for five dollars. Obviously, as I'm mentioning, if you are an op player, this is where maybe you want to turn around and say, okay, maybe I don't have to spend as much on the AK and the m 4 a one s because you'd rather put that money into the op. That's kind of what you can do. Or you can use, what well, we'll cover the budget that's left over for the other skins. You can use a bit more of that towards an op and just spend less on the extras. Okay, so then that's four of the nine skins. The other five, you go Desert Eagle, right? We're going to go for a Cold Red, Field Test it, $18. Really nice value for money pick. The Glock, we're going to go for a Water Elemental in Minimal Wear. It's $5. Uh, and then we're going to go for the likes of a, a Jawbreaker for the USP, which is 10 uh, A Mac 10 Allure, Factory News, $1. And then an MP9 Food Chain. In minimal wear is three dollars. Now this comes in at just under two hundred dollars when I planned this out, which means you're spending eighty percent of the budget on the key nine skins we've identified that you are going to be using most of the time in game, and that gives you fifty dollars to cover the rest. Now just sort of, I'm going to the rest sort of covers anything else you might be using. Which if we go back to my thing here, we can show my loadout. So for CT, for example, you can see this is going to end up including a P250, as he said, a 5.7. We've then got like the shotguns, we've got the UMP, we've got the MP7, we've got scouts, we've got a Famis, like an MT side. Again, we've got Tech 9s, we've got Joe Berettas, we've got still shotguns, the same sort of SMGs, we've even got Gail now to take account of. So this is these are all the extras that you've sort of accounted $50 to spend on. And I think this is the best sort of, if you want to complete uh, a skin for every single weapon, this is the best kind of utilization. You want to make sure you're putting pretty much like 80% or possibly higher if you're on a lower budget and you have to, or you have to prioritize the, the key skins. About 80% of the budget wants to go on those key nine, you leave 20% for the leftovers. And obviously you can go and pick the best value for money stuff in those. Like, so I put $50, you could probably spend 10 to 20 instead if you wanted to. And like I say, that gives you another $30 towards the op if you do want to op. But that's the phase one of the essentials, phase two of the budget enjoyer. And now we get on to the third phase, which is, I've called it knife and glove time. We're going to go get a knife and glove. Now, the best way I can detail this is most of the time, I think you want to try and do a 50-50 split if you can. I'll vary that slightly on tier four, but you'll see what I mean overall. You kind of... I think a lot of people make the mistake of, okay, well, I want to go get a knife and glove combo, and they kind of disregard the other skins. Now, don't get me wrong, if you enjoy, if you can build, like, a $50 weapon skin loadout, and you actually like all of them, and then you want to put $250 into knife and glove, and you're happy with that, obviously, by all means, you could do that. But I'm trying to cover, like, what I think fits the majority, or, like, the average user here, and that's... We're going to go $500 as the example, and to make it as, as easy for the 50-50 as possible, everything skin-wise we just use in the budget enjoyer, so the blood sport, the hyper beast, etc. We're going to just account for that immediately into knife and glove time, and that means then we have another $250 to spend on a knife and glove combo. Now, one thing I value a lot, uh, and some people disagree, is I actually value my gloves a lot here, because I think your gloves, you actually see them every single time you're using them. So we don't want to just spend like 200 on the knife and then only leave $50 for the gloves. I kind of do that a little bit in some places, but it is what it is. You want to make sure you're getting good gloves. I've got three combinations here for the $250 budget, just to give you some ideas. Combination one is going to be special gloves buckshot in minimal wear, and they're going to be paired with a Nomad Knife Brill Forest in minimal wear. Uh, there might be a $5 variance this on the budgets just when I, when I checked, but I tried to get them all around the $250 mark. 
combination two would be going for some sort of hand wraps, bad land, and I've gone for a gut knife tiger tooth. Again, I'm playing on the sort of orangey brown here. The gut knife would be factory new, gives you a, a nice sort of combo to work with. And then combo three is the more neutral one where we're going to go for broken fang gloves, unhinged, and field test it, and we'll have that paired with a huntsman knife, the mask steel in factory new. So, this is really just to give you sort of an example of what you should be doing. I think if I had a $500 budget, I would look to spend. 250 to 300 off on a knife and glove combo and then the the rest elsewhere now the one area this can change a little bit is when you step up budget or you re reduce budgets like if we're going to talk about stepping up budget if you had a two thousand dollar budget for example you might not necessarily want to spend a thousand on your knife and glove combo on a thousand on weapon skins you might only want to spend 600 on the combo and fourteen hundred dollars on weapon skins because you know you can get the gloves that you really like for three hundred. You only really need a three hundred dollar knife, but you want to make sure you've got like a really cool AK. Like maybe you want to get a fire surf, and you want to get a, an Icarus Fell M for everyone else. You want to get a, a really expensive A4. I would personally think that's a wiser push rather than just overspending on knife and glove again. I think a lot of people make a mistake of let's take a two K budget. They'll be like, I've got 2k to put in the skins, and they'll put like $1,800 into knife and glove combo. And don't get me wrong, you can get a stellar knife and glove combo. You could be getting like a phase 2 doppel or some like well worn vice gloves, maybe battle scarred vice gloves. It looks nuts. But then all your other weapon skins are a big lackluster, and realistically, that's what you're going to be seeing majority of the time, along with the gloves. Now, I'll stop waffling there. Let's go on to the fourth sort of suggestion here. And this is what I think is, I'm going to call it the perfect balance. This is where I'm going to take a $1,000 budget, and we're going to make sure we're getting. All we're gonna make sure we're getting a solid combo for knife and gloves. We're gonna make sure we're spending the right amount on our main skins, and then we're gonna make sure we're spending just sort of like leftover on the remaining skins. So my suggestion here is 50 to 60 percent on the knife and glove combo. Now this is kind of consistent to what I'm saying for the knife and glove time, the third one where you're starting to get knife and glove combo. But I'm appreciating that with the higher budget, you might sort of step up that next tier for the knife and glove and have to spend a bit more. Then you're going to spend 30 to 40% on your main skins. Now, obviously, you don't want to spend 60% on the combo and then 40% on your main skins because you're left with nothing. But these are sort of the, the buffers I'm trying to create for you guys. And then 5 to 10% on the remaining skins. Now, to sort of run through what this would look like for the knife and glove combo for $1,000, obviously, you can do this for $750, $500, whatever. But this is just trying to give different tiers breakdowns to, to sort of visualize it for you guys. The perfect balance with a $1,000 budget. And we are going to theme it a little bit here. You'll see I lean into a red theme. If you want to go for a theme, that's up to you. But I know a lot of people like themes. Um, we're going to go for sports gloves, Scarlet Sham in Well Worn, and then a Huntsman Knife Slaughter in Factory New, which is $585. So we are much closer to the 60% of spend here. I I would like to try and get it down a little bit if we could, but honestly, like this is a combination where it's, I think it's fine to, to pay closer to the 60% because honestly, you're getting... S tier gloves, maybe not the wear of the gloves, but the gloves themselves are S tier. They're fantastic gloves. And then the Huntsman knife I put is like a second tier knife. It doesn't have crazy animations, but the, the blade looks mean and the draw animation is actually pretty cool, especially if you're an offer. So I think this is a really good sort of like use case of budget. Now, I'm going to build off what we've previously got down here from from the both the $250 and the $500 weapon skins. So here we continue with a blood sport for $90. In minimal wear because that is probably the best red AK you're going to get uh, in this sort of budget. At this point, I'm going to overspend. Not overspend. I'm going to put more money into the op. I'm going to go for a wildfire in minimal wear, which is about seventy dollars. Now this is where you can decide. You know what? I don't op that much. I just want a jal a or I want a battle scarred red line, and I get myself an extra. I don't know, like thirty to fifty dollars to go spend on different AKs or different weapons elsewhere. Uh, M4A1S, you can, I put in a Shantico's Fire, minimum wear for $60. You can spend less and get a Cyrex. I think the Shantico's Fire has a bit more going for it, personally. Uh, Hellfire for the M4A4, this would cost you $40 in minimal wear. The likes of the Glock 18 is going to be going to continue with a water element. They'll actually even minimal wear for $5. We'll also continue with a USPS, the Treater, uh, a minimal wear for $15. And then for the Desert Eagle, we're going to step it up to a minimal wear rather than a field test, which runs you about $30. So for the seven main skins here, I've not included MAC-10 and MP9 here. For the seven main skins that you're going to use most of the time, you're spending about $310. So we are pretty much just over that 30% range, which means we're spending about 90% basically on our, within a $5 variance, on our knife and glove combination and our main skins, which does leave us that 10% buffer for the remaining skins. Now, obviously, at this point, you guys can choose to uh, use this how you want. 
you don't necessarily need to spend hundred dollars on the other skins like i've said before you could probably get the your i think it's like 14 skins left at this point like the mac 10s the mp9s the, the five sevens and stuff you could probably get everything you wanted for this for twenty dollars realistically you could go super cheap on it and just get like cheap things and then you get eighty dollars to upgrade something elsewhere rather you, whether you want to upgrade a weapon skin whether you want to go and get sticker crafts you've kind of got that covered but that is the four examples of how i think you should be budgeting kind of strike loadouts now you guys can you can disagree with me in some areas if you want but i've spent a while doing my own loadouts trying to and this is based of obviously some personal preference on how i want to budget things but as i've changed my loadout and you guys have seen me change my loadout over the recent months i've had this in mind and been tweaking this to try and figure out what i think the best thing is now i've put some notes down of where my personal preferences may be tweaking things and you may want to change so first of all i put a lot of value in gloves over knife because you see them all the time now in all of my use cases i have still spent more on my knife than i have my gloves for example with my gold loadout i had like arids and well worn but i had a butterfly lower in well worn butterfly lower is much more expensive this time we got the foundation um specialist gloves and then we got black lamb m9 the black line m9 not as much a difference this time but it's still more expensive but what i've done each time is make sure i am getting a good pair of gloves rather than skimping on the gloves uh, and then it not looking as good with the weapon skin so you don't always have to spend more on gloves but you just want to make sure you're getting you want to make sure you're putting enough towards the gloves so in this case where i've put 585 it's called 600 dollars towards the knife and glove combo i'm still spending like 300 of that on the the gloves themselves but you don't necessarily have to spend 400 and only 200 on a knife uh, building on this you want to get the best gloves that you can while getting a solid knife that fits the theme if you have one and that's kind of like the best approach so for me here huntsman knife i think is really solid like a falchion probably falls into the same sort of category make sure you're getting good gloves and then as i say the, the op and the m4 picks can be situational depending on how much you op and which m4 you use for example if you use the m4 a4 much more than the m4 a1s then obviously spending more on the a4 in your case makes sense even more so if you don't op so that's kind of it there four different budget examples on how i think most people should probably break down to use it now there is a chance this has just been 20 minutes or 15 minutes of me just absolutely waffling about skins and prices and it is what it is but i hope it's brought some value and maybe answered some question for you guys who might be unsure on how much you are wanting to spend on like your but your loadouts how, how you want to allocate it i know people do have that question i'm just not sure how many people have that question but i'll stop the waffle now hopefully it's been helpful for you guys hope you've enjoyed it just a reminder of the knife and glove combo we're giving away for this month it's not far away now that we're picking the winners for this we'll probably pick them in the beginning of june just with how time frames are because i want to pick it on stream uh to make it as good and sort of insightful as you guys as possible for how we pick it so just a reminder of how you enter is like subscribe and leave a comment down below um actually i think i may have said of your favorite skin i'm not sure if i mentioned that at the start i don't know i've shown some skins through this um then put, put, pick a skin comment down below that'll count as the entry um i'm gonna end it there guys hopefully you found it useful you can let me know if you have and if you want to see more content like this in the future um we kind of do it anyway when we're doing like budget the team build outs but you know let me know i will go from there thank you guys for watching have a great one we'll catch you in the next video good bye